Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Welcome once again to New Zion Christian Center. I am Pastor Larry, and I will be bringing you the Word of God on today. Amen. Hope everyone is doing well. If you woke up this morning, you are blessed. Amen, amen. I'm going to be coming from uh, a very familiar passage, uh, Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, verses 1 through 13. In the title of today's message is, It Shall Come to Pass. Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, verses 1 through 13. Again, the title is, It Shall Come to Pass. Amen, amen. If we can begin reading Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 13. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, mm -hmm. Amen. to observe and to do all his commandments, Amen. which I command thee this day, mm -hmm. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth, mm -hmm. and all these blessings shall come unto thee. Yes, and yes, day, yes. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord mm -hmm. thy God, Blessed shall thou be in the city. Amen. Blessed shall thou be in the field. Amen. Blessed shall Amen. be the fruit of thy body. All and the right. fruit of thy ground. Yes. And the fruit of thy cattle. Mm -hmm. The increase of thy kin. Mm -hmm. And the flocks of thy sheep. Mm -hmm. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Mm -hmm. Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in. And blessed shall Come thou be in. when thou goest out. Amen. The Lord shall cause thy enemies to yes. rise against thee. Yes, to be yes. before thy face. Mm -hmm. They shall come out against thee one way mm -hmm. and flee before thee seven ways. Mm -hmm. The Lord shall command a blessing upon thee in thy storehouse mm -hmm. and in all that thou settest thy hand yes. unto. And he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God <laughs> yes. The Lord Amen. shall Amen. establish thee in holy people unto thee. Holy the people. As he mm -hmm. has sworn unto thee. Yes. If thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God mm -hmm. and walk in his ways. Walk in and his all ways. all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, mm -hmm. and they shall be afraid of thee. Amen. And the Lord shall make yes. thee plenteous and good mm -hmm. in the fruit of thy body and in the fruit of thy cattle and in the mm -hmm. fruit of thy ground in the land which the Lord swear unto thy fathers to give thee. Mm -hmm. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, mm -hmm. the heavens and the rain <laughs> unto thy land and Mm -hmm. And to bless all the work of thy hand. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt lead unto many nations, mm -hmm. and thou shalt not borrow. Mm -hmm. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. Amen. And thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. Mm -hmm. If that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thou God, mm -hmm. which I command thee this day to observe and to do them. Amen. Amen. Thank the Lord for the reading and the edification of his word for the edification of our souls. Amen, 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 amen. I'm going to go right on into uh, what we're going to be discussing on today. Amen. We're talking about a promise. Deuteronomy is the 28th chapter, is a promise from the Lord. I don't know if you're going through something today, you're having issues in your life, or you're just having a hard time in life, but I come to tell you today that if you are serving the Lord, there is a promise for us. Mm -hmm. Children of God, there's a promise. Amen. We have been giving a contract. Amen. The word promise is a declaration that something will be done or given. A declaration of something Amen. that will be done or given. It shall come to pass. It's used about 453 odd times in the King James Bible. You'll see that phrase, it shall come to pass. And usually when something is simply, it, it simply means that one event is happening and that event will pass into another. So in other words, whatever you're going through, it shall pass 
to something that God has promised us. In other words, whatever you're going through is about to pass. Just simply put it like that. And I know some people are going through some things, and these, this is a day and time where there's so many things that are going on in our lives. And, but we as uh, children of God have to realize that we have a contractual agreement from the Lord. Amen. And it is the word of God. That is our contract. Uh, every child of God has a conditional contract. We have a contract with the Lord, but there are conditions that have to be met. And anytime you see a contract, even in business, there's always conditions with that contract. That's why a lot of times they be so long and most of the times the folks don't even read the whole contract. And that's the same thing with the word of God. People don't read the whole contract. See, in order for you to understand what's going on in this contract or what you signed up for to become a child of God, you got to know what's in the contract. And a lot of us as children of God, we don't know what's in the contract. So that's why we start to worry, we start to doubt, because we don't realize what's in our contract. The first part of the contract states that if I shall hearken diligently unto the voice of God and observe and do all his commandments that he has commanded you, he will set you on high above all nations of the earth. We have to realize that we have this contract or promise that God has promised us. And God is not a God that goes back on his promises. You ever, you ever had a friend that promised you something, and oh, I'll be there for you, and the next thing you know, they're not really there for you. But when you have a contractual person or a person that sticks to a promise, you can guarantee that they're going to come through. And that's how it is with the word of God. We can guarantee that God is going to come through and, and, and honor his contract or honor his promises with us. So we really don't have anything to be worried about, but our natural state, it causes us to worry, doubt, fear, to uh, get nervous about things, to, to, to get discouraged about things, and, and, and we just worry and we overthink things. See, sometimes when you don't read the contract, you assume things, uh -oh. and when you don't read the contract, you overthink sometimes, and when you don't, because sometimes the contract, there's phrases or things in the contract that might not make sense to the average person, but it's in your contract, and it's promised to you, and Deuteronomy the 28th chapter breaks down the contract and the agreement that God has with us. So we have no reason to be doubting the Lord because it is his will that we abide by this contract that he's given us. And with this contract that he's given us, he is going to honor it. So we have no reason to be running around looking sad, looking pitiful, with our head hung down. Hold your head up high no matter what you are going through. So part of this contract promises us good health. Part of this contract uh, 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 honor gives us the right to the tree of life. That's part of the contract. All of these things are part of this contract. Amen. Go back to the first part of your contract. After you meet the conditions of that contract, it will come to pass. And if you forget about what's in the contract, read the first paragraph again. Go back to your contract. See, a lot of us don't 
understand why we go through things. You, what you, when you are going through something, go get your contract. Bring out your contract, which is the word of God. Bring out your contract. Go read it from word to word and say, Lord, this is what you promised me. And I know what you promised me. You are going to honor it. <laughs> After you meet the conditions of the contract, it shall come to pass. He will set you on high. It will come to pass. The blessings will overtake you. The, this is, this, I, I didn't make this up. This is what the word of God said. It says the blessings will overtake you if you follow the conditions of the contract. It shall come to pass that he will bless you in the city. <laughs> Wherever you are, he is going to to bless you. So I will not worry that just whatever you going through this morning, what I don't, and you know, I, I'm not going to say I don't care about what you're going through, but whatever you going through, no matter what it is, is the word I want to say, no matter what you are going through, God is, is covered in the contract, is covered in his promise if you Hearken unto his voice. If you follow his commandments or follow the conditions of the contract, the promises are yours. Whatever you going through, your, your promises that God promised you, it's yours. So you have no reason to fear. You have no reason to doubt because it shall come to pass if you follow the contract, if you follow what God has for you, he said, I will bless you in the city. He said, I will bless you in the country. No matter what city you might be in, you might be in Jolly and he's still going to bless you. Even if when you're in Crest Hill, he's going to bless you. Even if you're out in Preston Heights, he is going to bless you. Even in Shorewood, he's still going to bless you. Even in the town of Plainfield, he will bless you. Even in Wisconsin, he's going to bless you. Even if you're in Itabina, Mississippi, he's still going to bless you. No matter where you are, God is going to bless you. It shall come to pass. It shall come to pass that he will bless you in the city. It will, he will, hallelujah. It shall come to pass, hallelujah. He's going to bless the fruit of your body. It shall come to pass, hallelujah. He's going to bless the fruit of your ground, hallelujah. It shall come to pass, hallelujah, that he will bless your cattle, hallelujah. Glory to God, hallelujah. It shall come to pass, hallelujah, that he will bless your sheep. Somebody say, I don't have no sheep, hallelujah, but he's going to bless your storehouse. It shall come to pass, hallelujah, that he'll bless your coming in, hallelujah. He will bless your going out. It shall come to pass, hallelujah. Good God Almighty, hallelujah, he'll bless you, hallelujah. When you wake up in the morning, you will be blessed, hallelujah. It shall come to pass, hallelujah, no matter what you're going through, hallelujah. The Lord has heard your cry, hallelujah. The Lord has heard your plea, hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody ought to shout hallelujah. Glory to God. It will, hallelujah. He'll bless you coming in. He will bless you going out. It shall come to pass, hallelujah, that you'll lend and not borrow. Hallelujah. It shall come to pass, hallelujah, that he will make you the head and not the tail. Hallelujah. It shall come to pass, hallelujah, good God almighty. 
hallelujah, that he will bless you, hallelujah, in the midst of your storm, hallelujah, he shall come to pass, good God Almighty, go to God, it shall come to pass, hallelujah, good God Almighty, when you wake up in the morning, you will be blessed, it shall come to pass, hallelujah, that no matter what you're going through, it shall come to pass in the midst of your storm. Somebody ought to holler back at me. In the midst of your storm, hallelujah, he'll lift you up. Hallelujah, if you're sick in your body, it shall come to pass that he will heal your body. It shall come to pass. Good God Almighty, hallelujah, it shall come to pass. Somebody ought to get the Lord a hand clap. Hallelujah, it shall come to pass. No matter what you're going through, it's got to come to pass. Hallelujah, you have a promise. Hallelujah, if you follow that promise, if you follow that contract. Hallelujah, we have a contract. Hallelujah, with conditions in that contract. If you follow those conditions in the contract, it shall come to pass that he'll bless you going in. He'll bless you going out. He'll bless you in the midnight hour. Hallelujah. He heard your cries already because it's part of the contract. Healing is part of your contract. Look it up in your contract. If you forget about it, hallelujah, look it up. If you forget about it, look up your contract. Hallelujah. I'm going to look at my contract. I see healing in my contract. It shall come to pass. I see financial blessings in my contract. I'm going to look it up. Look it up. It's all in words. It's in writing. A lot of times, folks will tell you something in the business world, but it's not valid until it's in the contract. It's not valid unless it's in writing. Hallelujah. But I found out today, hallelujah, that it's all in writing. Hallelujah. It's in my contract. Hallelujah. There's healing. There's salvation. There's eternal life. It's all in my contract. I'm able. I'm able. I'm able. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm able. Somebody give him some praise. The glory to God is all in my contract. Hallelujah. I don't have to worry. I can go ahead and give God some praise. I can shout a little bit. I can throw up my head because it's in my contract. Hallelujah. I have a contractual agreement with the Lord. Hallelujah. It's all in writing. It's not valid unless it's in writing. I have it in writing today. The promises are mine. Hallelujah. He made a promise to me. Shout hallelujah. Give God some praise. Come on, hallelujah. Wherever you are today, throw up your hand and say, I got it. I got it. It's in my contract. It's in my contract. It's in my contract. Yes, Lord. It's in writing. I got it in writing. It's valid. Hallelujah. I'm going to stand on the word. I'm going to stand on my contract. If it's healing you need, stand on your healing. Hallelujah. If it's healing you need, stand on it. Stand on it. Stand on it. Stand on it. Stand on on your contract. He's going to honor your contract. If you live right, if you walk right, if you talk right, he will honor your contract. Glory to God, hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God, hallelujah. Yes. 
Hallelujah. Make me want to shout when I think about his contract. Make me want to get happy when I think about his contract. It's all in his contract. Good God Almighty, don't you worry. Don't you fret. God has heard your prayer. He's heard your prayer. Don't you give up. Don't you give in. Yes, hallelujah. Glory to God, hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Yes, hallelujah. For those that are going through, those that are sick in their body, put your hand on your head and say, it's part of my contract. Healing is part of my contract. Claim it. Claim your healing today. Claim your blessings. They're all in the contract that God has given us. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't you give up today. Don't you give in. Because God has promised you something. And he's not a liar. He's not a man like a man that lies. God cannot lie. And his promises are yours. They're yea and they're nay. And they're for you today. Hallelujah. 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 Share this video with someone that might be going through, share it with them today, that they might be touched and realize that God has given them a contract that he's going to honor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you on today. This concludes my message. Hallelujah. It shall be done. God bless you. Amen. While I'm, uh, the spirit is still high, I'm going to bring my wife up for the announcements. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Give the Lord another hand clap. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Truly, God has a word for us today. Had a word for us today. It shall come to pass. Amen, amen. We thank God for another day, another word that he has blessed us with, amen, here at New Zion Christian Center. Amen. These are your announcements, amen, <clears throat> for August, amen, the 18th, amen, 2024, New Zion Christian Center, New Beginning. Amen. Sunday morning services begin at 11 a.m. with Sunday school, immediately following with worship service. Wednesday services, uh, Wednesday with Let's Talk Marriage with our Pastor Larry. Our services are held each Sunday in the Plainfield Township Community Center. The address is 15014 South Displain Street in Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. We thank you for worshiping with us today, whether you are worshiping in-house or you are worshiping via Facebook Live. We thank you, we thank you, and we thank you again. Also, if you would like to reach our pastor at any time, you may do so by calling 708 609-1107 or email him at newzionchristiancenter at yahoo.com Also, if you would like to be a blessing to this ministry, you may do so via Zelle or PayPal at newzionchristiancenter at yahoo.com or via Cash App at newzionchristianctr We ask that you like and share these services with someone may, that may be in need, that may be in, need to be encouraged. Amen. And again, we thank you for your participation and have a blessed and wonderful Sunday. Amen. Amen.